Matt Tim with Timberwolf here. We're in our assembly shop right now and we're working on our prototype test alpha. This machine, we test new things out on it today. We're trying out our new uh, regen valve. Did the machining ourselves on this upper machine shop at Syracuse. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna go right here. And as we put fluid from A port into there, that'll push that cylinder forward forcing fluid out of the B port. And from the B port, the fluid, instead of just returning to tank, this valve here will open up and it'll divert the fluid from the front into the back of the valve, making it go about twice as fast because of our two to one ratio on this five by three and a half inch cylinder. Once it reaches 1500 PSI, that'll shut off to give you the maximum split potential. So it will slow down, but this should make these uh, Alpha cycle times, we're looking at uh, hopefully in the low five seconds here for the five inch cylinder. This is also one of our new cylinders. It's a welded body instead of the tie rod we've been using. Again, the uh, number 16 ports, easy fluid uh, out of there. Three and a half inch solid rod uh, to take advantage of the regen valve. So we're just gonna throw this on and uh, see how she does. And these are ORB fittings on the vast majority of our valves and cylinders. We try to use ORB with a good O-ring. It's really the best seal. And then on our hoses, we really try to stick to JIC swivels, uh, female swivels on the end of our hoses. Makes hoses easier to go on and off, and in my opinion, much better than pipe thread. Now, hopefully I got this on the right way. We'll find out once we try her. All right, so now we're gonna get a hose from our A port. That's gonna go right down there, so that should work real nice. Now, once we go in production, we'll probably do something a little different. This is using the existing hoses that we already use, so it might not be the cleanest fit, but it'll, it'll work out in a pinch here just for trial. Okay, so the next hose, gotta get this hose to there. That should work out pretty nice too. We'll take this off. Okay, make sure everything's tight. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into our used hose bin over here and see if we can find the number 12. Uh, now we got a bunch of 12 hose. A little on the short side. Oh, looks promising. It might be the one we need right there. Let's try that out. Then I have a used hose bin. Look at that. Couldn't have made that hose better if I'd planned it. It's pretty cool. Get it nice and tight. There's a cover right there. And tighten this guy up. I like the routing, it's not perfect, but it's just a demo. 
It's one of the nice things with an ORB fitting set in the angle. It still has good and tight with swivels on them. All right, well, as long as I haven't omitted anything here from tight wise, just check. We should be good to go. No, well, good thing I checked that wasn't tight. Now, some guys will say, why don't you just build the uh, reed gen right to the valve? Well, one of the big advantages here is the reed gen happens right here, real close to the cylinder, so you don't get a lot of line loss. If you're setting it back to the valve, your fast flow is going through just this line alone here. So by doing it this way, it dumps right into the cylinder. A little extra cost, but you'll gain a little more speed with less line loss on the friction. All right, now I got that all done. I'm gonna fire it up, see how fast she is. pretty fast. I run them every day. I know it's a big improvement, but I've got one here with the old setup. This has got a four and a half inch rod and a dump valve. I'm moving a three and a half inch rod and a regen belt. And I'll show you the speed difference with this. Point eight nine seconds, four and a half inch rod, dump valve. Now we'll fire this guy up. Six point three two. Now both of these have cold fluid. Once I get up to operating temperature, this one here is going to be in the low fives, and that one's going to be in the low sevens. So you got somewhere in the realms of a 50% improvement on performance. So output per hour is going to be much higher with this new regen valve. This will be coming uh, pretty soon, probably in the next month or so. But now let's wheel this outside and uh, watch it split some fire and see how she does. <laughs> 